Prince Raphael's plane should be landing about now. If he gets there before we do, he's a dead man. I won't need you anymore tonight, Thomas. Oh, Miss Prescott. Good evening, Mr. Barkery. His Highness will be overjoyed to find you here, to meet him. His plane just landed. We should confer soon about the arrangements for the wedding. Yes, yes, we should. I know His Highness will be pleased that you are agreeable for the ceremony taking place in the consulate. I'd be delighted to be married on the steps of City Hall by a justice of the peace if that's what Raphael wanted. Look at you. It's true. It's not possible, but it is true. You're more beautiful than ever. <laughs> Get out of here. Another challenge for the Green Hornet. His aide, Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner-publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity, known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. on my life? That's right, Your Highness. How do you know, Mr. Reed? I received an anonymous phone call last night. Before I could call the police, I learned that the Green Hornet had disposed of the threat. But why? Why would this, this Green Hornet bother to save my life? From what I've been told, he's a notorious criminal. Well, that's true, Your Highness. I have no idea what his motive was. I have political enemies, of course. What head of state doesn't? But even if the incident at the airport last night involved an assassination attempt, I'm perfectly safe here in the consulate. I'm not so sure. There is a reception here tonight in your honor. But Mr. Reed, attendance is by invitation only. Invitations have been known to fall into the wrong hands, Mr. Bakia. Your Highness, I'd like your permission to post a strong police guard around the consulate grounds tonight. Well, I see no objection to that. Do you, Bakir? As long as the police do not come on the consulate ground. This is a uh, Kaharan territory. 
as much as the capital of Kahara itself, and must be respected as such. I understand that, Mr. Bakir. Well, then, it is settled. I wish to thank you, gentlemen, for your concern over my safety. Jeanette has mentioned you, Mr. Reed. Your families are all friends, I understand. That's right. I will look forward to seeing you at the reception this evening. And you too, Mr. Scanlon. Thank you. Be careful, Your Highness. I will. When a man is going to marry a girl as wonderful as my fiance, he has a great deal to live for. See you tonight. Bye. Bye. Doesn't the line ever end? When you are Princess Janet of Kahara, you become reconciled to affairs like this. Excuse me, miss. You want it on the telephone. I was told to say it was urgent. Urgent? You can take it in the library, miss. Thank you. Will you excuse me, darling? Hello? 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 Good evening, Your Highness. Ah, Mr. Reed, good to see you again. Good to see you. Mr. Bakir? How do you do? Colonel Sarajak? Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Reed, Jeanette has been called to the telephone. Let's find her and have a nice quiet drink, just the three of us. Good idea. Hey, darling, I... That's strange. I wonder where she... What is that odor? Chloroform. Something has happened to Jeanette. Has Mr. Scanlon arrived yet? Speaking. Excuse me, Frank. What do we? Excuse me. What is it? Trouble. Yes. Yes, I understand. Jeanette has been kidnapped. Kidnapped? And unless I return to Kahara and announce my abdication within 48 hours, she will be killed. How soon can my plane be ready to take off for Kahara? To take off for Kahara? But, Your Highness, I don't understand. How soon? A couple of hours. Then see to it. Don't give in to that demand, Your Highness. What are you talking about? I have to. Jeanette's life is at stake. But I don't think returning to Kahara and abdicating your throne is going to save her. Men vicious enough to do a thing like this to force you out of power wouldn't hesitate to kill her once they've got what they want. Mr. Scanlon. They won't harm her as long as they need her to bargain with. Time is on your side, not theirs. Make them wait. Give the police a chance. They'll find out who's holding Janet and where. No, Mr. Scanlon. I'm sorry. Maybe you're right. But what if you're wrong? I cannot risk that. My throne means nothing to me compared to Janet's life. Have the plane ready in two hours. Your Highness. <laughs> I've got to stop him, Frank. Oh, you've done as much as you can. No. Not quite. 